Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy! I'm hyped for this video! Let me just say one thing, boys. Pepe is back with the vengeance! Let's go! So here's the writing for this video. Smash the subscribe button. Smash it, boys! Y'all's gonna smash the like button because if we hit 400, no, not 400, forget 400, 700, baby! If we hit 700 likes by tomorrow, if we hit 700 likes by tomorrow, so you gotta smash the like button right now, I will post tomorrow me defeating three yugi tubers with performer pal so if you guys want to see the pen god defeat three yugi tubers with performer pal smash the subscribe button and i'll showcase that video for you guys tomorrow but as for this one get ready boys because perhaps for this one it is time it is time to show the world that pepe was never dead and that pepe is the best deck let's go baby pepe time <laughs> Let's get this video started, boys. 2021 Pepe. I'm so hyped to bring this to you. Before we do, though, get your beautiful Skunker Bat Pepe Joker. Let's go. Beautiful play mat, only $40 on tripgaming.com. Go check it out right now before Pepe stock rises higher than GameStops. Let's get it. So, if you guys have played Pepe before, you'll recognize in old times when you play it. Yes, we added some Zephyrus in here. We added some Magicians because they synergize very well. It's a rank four spam deck. Tell me a deck in Yu-Gi-Oh right now that could play through one Dweller. You can't. I'll uh, save you some time. Now, the best part of Pepe, if you guys see this right now, I have zero cards in hand. I just pendulum summon, and I'm about to put up an unbreakable board, right? But I'm about to end my turn with four cards in hand, and it's just so ridiculously good and plus. And you still end on an unbreakable board. Look at this. So I have four cards in hand at the moment. I can do so much cool stuff if I want to. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to normal summon second donkey. Now, the thing what made uh, monkey board so good and Joker back when they were together was that they had a normal summon and Joker. Well, guess what? Donkey does exactly what Joker does. The only times when it doesn't is when you don't have two scales. And yes, it's not a pendulum, but you're never scaling Skulker by Joker anyways. So Joker is basically a non-pendulum. Donkey is literally the next Joker. It is a Joker. All you need is just to have scales first. Which in a deck with Zephyrus, Magicians, you have Oracle of Zephyr, you have Pendulum Call, you have all these other, your whole deck of scales. It's another Joker. Joker is not bad. You got second Donkey. It does the same thing. So this is the new coming of Donkey. It's been out for a long time. And because everything's level four, it synergizes perfectly. Now in this combo tutorial that you're witnessing right now, I already hard drew my performance. Uh, and and the, I already hard drew Juggler and, and Trick Clown. Uh, I'll show you guys a really cool play right here, okay? You guys pay attention. So I'm going to go Zephyr Providence here. And then a cool thing. Okay, so I go Dweller. I have an extra rank four. Now I'm going to go into Chakanine. Now I always want you to pay very close attention here. Because this is what I think makes the Unbreakable board. This by itself, honestly, is kind of whatever. But you go into Dryden. Now in this scenario, you already hard drew the Juggler. And that's fine. But sometimes you're not going to hard draw that Juggler. So in that scenario, you go Dryden to pop Zephyr Nui. And use Time Star's effect. Time Star's not just to add a card. If it's also to send. So here I just send a shifter because all my graveyard effects are gone. But this is where you send either Juggler or Trick Clown to the graveyard. This is where the Pepe part comes in. And this is why the Magician part comes in as well. It synergizes so beautifully together. So now, instead of some adding the Plush Fire, you're summoning your free Trick Clown to the field. In this scenario, we already hard drew the performage. So we're just going to continue to send something random. Uh, just for no, but also not for no reason. In fact, this also it, it's to dual purpose. Sends a performance to the graveyard by protecting the time star, but also it brings Chakanine to the graveyard, a material under Dryden. Now this allows you to go Chakanine on top of the Dryden because you summon this Chakanine normally. This is like summoning going into Broad Bowl and then going into uh, Dryden and then Broad Bowl on top of it. You didn't actually summon Zodiac Chakanine via its effect once per turn on top of a Chakanine. It, you summoned it successfully with two level four monsters. So here we're gonna go into Chuck and Nine to detach the Dryden, and then we're gonna go into Tiger Mortar to attach the uh, Chuck and Nine underneath the Dryden. Now at this point you're thinking, okay, Triff, you got a Zephyr Nui, you got a Time Star, and a Tiger Mortar. There's no reason to link the Zephyr Nui. Let the Zephyr Nui stay there because next turn it gives you another level four because of, it searches you Zephyr Providence next turn. So why would you want to get rid of this if it'll search you as a, a free card next turn? It's all about plus here. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna actually go into F0 
and utilize a card that's not out in Yu-Gi-Oh right now that's absolutely broken. And that is uh, F-Zero Utopic Future Dragon. When this card gets released, every rank 4 deck just fucking skyrockets to the moon in power. And this is really the biggest beautiful part of why Pepe, when this card comes out, is going to be an absolute powerhouse for Pendulums. And it actually makes going second easier. And if you guys notice now, uh, after you search with uh, after you search with Zephanui in your turn, because what Nine Pillars does with negate a card and destroy this, and then you can search again via its effect because it negates. Uh, it says if you control and then destroy one other Yangzing card you control, and then it triggers the Zephanui. So uh, you're gonna start your turn with these four plus the card you draw for turn plus complete scales plus uh, Trick Clown plus if any of these XYZs die. Celestial reborns it back. So it's such an amazing way to play this deck together. Rank 4 spam is back. Pepe is back. And if this doesn't do it for you guys, I'm going to fast forward a second replay here uh, where you don't hard draw the performance. I'm going to show you guys right now. But this deck is actually insane. This deck is insane, man. Like this one, we open a lot of Magician cards and a lot of Zephyr cards. That's not what you really want to open. You'd rather open your plus cards. But guess what? Guess what, boys? We're still going to have access to the best engine of this entire deck. And that is Duelist Alliance, Searching Performer Pile, Pendulum, Sorcerer. Let's go. The actual Pen God right here. Pen Sorcerer. Let's go. The OG Pen God. And out here, it's going to plus like crazy. Every hand does the same thing. And now this is where I'm going to showcase you guys where I told you that what if you don't draw the performance? So here we're going to get a free harmonizing. We're going to go Dryden, Protect the Zephyr Nui by using Time Stars Effect, Sending Juggler. Juggler Effect will trigger. Now, to add Trick Cloud, now I only have, I, I didn't have an extra level 4 in the field. I didn't have an extra level four in the field. So in this scenario, I don't need the the, the trick clown to be sent. I could have sent send I could have add hat tricker if I wanted to, or I could have uh, sent trick clown and special trick clown. What the hell do I need another level four for? I have no no reason to have another level four. So I just keep this trick clown in hand for the following turn, and now I'm gonna go into the track and nine play, Dryden, and there's a legal target to special because you detach the track and nine under the Dryden. And then you just go into the F Zero Dragon. Their uh, Tiger Mortar and Time Star are both rank fours. And then just like that, you get F Zero Dragon. You set two traps, and then you have four cards in hand. Uh, when this card dies, you get another Zephyr Providence, and you draw. You get five. You, ha uh, you have low scale, high scale. This protects like every hand does the exact same thing. And as I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to see dual videos with this tomorrow, I'm releasing a huge, amazing video where I'm gonna be dual using this deck. I'll be using this exact same deck to face off against not one, not two, but three different Yugi tubers. And you guys are gonna see the results. Performer Pal versus Yugi Tube. Who's gonna win? You guys will see it tomorrow. So make sure to smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So you guys don't miss this tomorrow. Uh, it'll be big, boys. And these are the two replays to show you guys how to play the deck. Now I'm gonna showcase you guys two different deck profiles that I'm utilizing with this deck. One has a less of a performance count. And one has more of a hand trap uh, and more of a hand trap count. Another one has more of a performance count because it is still good to open because you could pen call the juggler or the clown away. So we'll go straight to the deck profile now. This is the version I have that is a super performance orientated deck where you, if you hard draw the juggler or the trick clown, you just discard it with pen call. And man, it really utilizes second donkey like crazy every time because of the Zephyr card, because of Pendulum Magicians. You could use donkey like it's Skulker Bad Joker. So then you're basically playing three Sork and three Joker. Uh, this is actually the deck that's made me start uh, uh, playing Pendulums in the first place. It's Pendulum Magicians with Triple Wisdom, my Triple Joker, Triple Sorcerer. So it brings me back big time to be able to do this. And it's kind of like Master Roll 5 doesn't exist. You can still rank 4 spam. And let's not forget just how powerful Zeus is. Now, I'm not going to get into the cards in this version. I'm going to showcase you guys the version that I think is the most competitive, which is the version I'm about to show you right now. This version is the most competitive version of Pepe. In the, at this scenario, I'd probably call this version more just Performer Pal Magician Zephyr. But the Performer Pals add so much to this deck because this deck doesn't use a normal summon whatsoever. So when Sorcerer pops a card, you normal the Donkey. The Donkey proceeds to add the free card to your hand. And because you're playing Oracle of Zephyr and extra doubles of cards... Uh, it always pops the extra shit you don't need. In fact, you could probably even play double Zephyr Nui because Sorcerer can always pop the Zephyroth when it's locked, so you won't need more Zephyr Nui's after that. But this deck, man, I'm a big fan of this. Still playing one Trick Clown because that ensures the Time Star play. It'll send you a free Trick Clown. It's a completely free level 4. And it's never actually dead. You just summon it. And this version's a lot better for Donkey to never be dead, where you can always search whatever you need. You never want it as a Foolish Burial. You use Donkey as an add one. 
effect and yeah so you play triple sorcerer triple donkey this in my eyes just is six sorcerer you play triple celestial magician which is so fucking powerful in this version because the idea is not just to kill your opponent with a five negate board the idea is to put an unbreakable board your opponent cannot break and end up with five cards in hand to be able to zeus your opponent next turn or ignister them next turn or otk their ass next turn selene access code next turn etc i did not put magician souls in this build because i want it to be budget yes you're playing access code but you don't need to play access code there's budget version to access code if you don't have access code remove access and selene and play draco berserker of the tenny it's a the cheapest way out of otk uh and i think you'll need one zeus in this version is only expensive card and that's about it I'm aware that the F0 card is, is OCG and not TCG. Just yet. It's at, at the moment, when it gets released, play it. But in the moment, you can always uh, take it out for at Ignister the rank 4. It'll help you make Zeus as well. But Goose in attack position helps you make Zeus very easily. You can play a Borbo if you want to attack directly for Zeus. But typically, if you have an at Ignister or a Goose 2k attack, you'll be able to attack without dying. And it protects itself from targeting and destruction. And then it'll slap on a Zeus after. Uh, more cards I want to discuss is the Magician Engine is amazing. Pendulum Call, Duelist Alliance, and Purple Poison destroy Vanity Ruler. But they have eight cards that hard draw, hard kill Vanity Ruler. So in the main deck, so and you have Triple Shifter. So in the main deck, you have eleven ways to defeat Vanity Ruler, and you side for the rest. It's actually very powerful. I brought up how you can play Double Zephyrath, uh, Zephyr Noe. Sorry, it is great to hard draw because if you guys look at this right now, uh, the first eighteen cards and plus Trick Clown. So the first nineteen of the first twenty cards are all plus ones when you Pendulum Summon. So you have 19, 22, 23, 26, 29, 32. 32 cards in the, out of your 40 cards are plus ones when you pendulum summon them. So having more like Zephyr Nui is fucking great. It's fantastic. But in the, if you really need to cut it, you could cut this to two. You do need to play one link level, sorry, one scale one Ze, uh, Zephyr card for Zephyr to send and Zephyr Tubin to be able to pop a card is great. And the fact that it's level four is also really important. So the combination of all these is why you play this. It's very needed. One trick line I still think is, is necessary. Two poison is really all you need to be able to have eight ways to pop, uh, to, to destroy Vanity Ruler. Desires is an option in this deck, but I hate banishing even one trap or even one or two Zephyr Nui's, so I opted not to. Dimension Shifter shuts down this entire meta. Four Oracle of Zephyrs, three Zephyr Providences, six Pendulum Calls, Duelist Alliance, also searches Pendulum Sorcerer, so it doesn't actually brick and double trap. You're playing all these hand traps, and these hand traps, if you look at Gamma and Lancia, they completely shut down. Uh, uh, Virtual World destroys them completely. You got Triple Droll and Triple Dark Ruler that shuts down uh, all Drytron decks, whether they go Ultimateness or Ruler. And you got Shifter that shuts both of them down. Against Bako, you just put in one Duster, one Reboot for Double Shifter. I You could take out one, one of these, like maybe one Dark Ruler for like one Cosmic Cyclone. So that way you could take out all Shifters for those three. But I just have one dead sp uh, one dead slot against all backer decks because i don't care about backer decks they're fucking free i just want to make sure i defeat the good decks these are this is the extra deck here you got lambda selene access code time star chak and nine dryden chak and nine on top and a tiger you need uh the extra chak and nine and tiger to be able to do the play with f0 and even then it's just a free rank four going second to go to zeus so it's good to have tornado dragon dweller baguska all important f0 f0 dragon one zeus is all you need and one ignister for harmonizing you can also play an extra synchro eight if you want to i trapeze magician i've been playing for a long time as well i recently took it out for f0 so if you were to take out the double f zeros put in uh trapeze magician which is better than supreme king dark rebellion take out these two for uh trapeze magician and a synchro eight is what i would do so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoy it pepe is not fucking dead and to prove it i'm gonna defeat three yugi tubers tomorrow with perform pal Performage, Magician, Zephra. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. We almost have 40,000 subscribers. You better hit that shit by Monday, boys. So smash the subscribe button and incredible videos coming. I'm going to destroy three YouTubers tomorrow with Pepe. So stay tuned for that one, boys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!